I'm going to show you how to create a custom colors palette in LibreOffice. Why would you like one? You may have different reasons. Maybe you have a corporate palette, which very likely will come from your company logo. Or you can have a photograph and you want the colors in your document to match the peculiar ones of that picture. Or simply you want to use some colors that are not in the preset LibreOffice ships with. Whatever is the reason, doing it is pretty straightforward and once you've done it you can save them permanently so you can have them across all the different applications writer, to calc, to impress and so on. And you can apply them to styles so that you achieve consistency across documents. Now I'm going to create mine here with impress. Um, only reason because I have this document where I have predefined my colors. But you can use writer or calc, it would be exactly the same thing. Now my colors come from this logo and I've written here the RGB code for each one of them and on the right you can also see the hex equivalent which is normally used in web. To create a color themselves, go on the menu, click on Tools, and then pick Options. You will get a neat dialog box where you can start entering your color. And the first thing you have to do is to give your new color a name. Each color should have a unique name. And since this is an impressive video, color, I would call it IV1, the first one. Now, to enter the color itself, you have different options. You can type in the RGB code, as I'm doing right now. 255960 is mine. I could have used the CMYK quadrochromic color, or I could have even clicked on edit, and here I could cherry pick my color from here. Or, you know, type key in one of the values here, depending on whatever is available to me. Again, for my example, I'm using RGB, so I key it in here, I put the name, now I can save the color with Add. And if you see, the color will show up at the bottom of my color table. Now, to move on, with the other is very simple, just change the name, adapt the right value of the color, and when I've done it, I can click on Add and save it. Then I can do IV3, which is 17867, and then it would be O, but I will type 10. I click on Add and I realize that it was not 10, you know, it should have been O, the blue value. So you can always go back, change the value, and click on Modify, which will amend the existing color rather than adding a new one. Now, let's move on quickly with the other two. Add, and finally, IV5. And here they are, the five colors that I've just created. I can click on OK, get out of the box, and now let's see how you can use them, how can you apply them to your documents. To give you an example, I will color each line with its own color. So for number one, select the area. I will click on the font color drop box. And what is nice is that when I move over a color, there is a help coming out. As you can see here. And here I am done. Five colors created, save them permanently. As I said, they will be available in every other application. So if I Kick in Writer, my colors will be available even here. And of course I can use them for everything. I can even use them as a background color if I want. On the bottom of the table here there are my IV1 to 5 color that I've just created.
So my suggestion is this is a very good feature of LibreOffice. Use it because having the right colors will give you a more consistent graphical design, will match your corporate appearance or whatever else you want to achieve.